Hi, Dr. Wagner. Hi, um, this is Shannon Haskell. You saw me yesterday, the chest pain. Yeah, uh-huh. I was just wondering if you um, got any of the tests back. No, I mean, I've, I've just been, well, I mean, did I, yeah, I told you about my eating disorder, right? Like I told, well, do you remember what I told you about my eating? So like I used to have bulimia, but now I'm anorexic. Excuse me? You, you can't be anorexic if you're overweight. <laughs> well, I'm Okay, so because I am a little bit overweight, I'm not at risk. I'm fine. Okay. I'm sorry, can I just, I'm sorry. Do you, do you um, know much about eating disorders or I only ask because my, my brother-in-law is a doctor and he said that in the medical field he didn't get a lot of training on eating disorders. Well I just don't think it's a good thing to tell someone to lose weight when they just told you they have an eating disorder. Like I know that I'm overweight I know you want me to be healthier but I am starving myself every single day. So what do you call it when someone who's overweight like me or even bigger than me, or normal weight. What do you call it when they starve themselves? What do you call it while they're in the process to getting underweight and technically anorexic? Well, I, I know that's in the book, but I, I don't, yeah. I'm sorry, it's really frustrating when doctors don't even believe that something's wrong with you just because you're not underweight. Just maybe in the future, just know that if you ever get, you know, young girls coming in or boys, it's just not a good idea to tell them to lose weight if they have an eating disorder. Okay, but it was nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you take care. Okay, bye-bye. I don't feel fine, but I'm fine. Then why stop? Dumbass.
just exercising. Really? Yeah. Awesome. I need exercise. No, you don't. I'm fat. I'm You're fat. not fat. You're I'm beautiful. Totally fat. You're not no, fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah. I called for a reason. Do you want to go to lunch? I don't want to leave today. I don't know. Um, please, please, please. Why? Why do you want to go to lunch? I've been you for so long. I, well, we can talk you're over not, the... I feel ignored. You're ignoring me. We can talk over the phone. No, it's not the same. Yes, it is. We're doing it no, right... No, it's not. I want to see you in person. I want to see you laugh. And <sighs> I say funny things because I'm a funny person. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, dinner? Or we could go uh, shopping, maybe? Sure, if you'll go shopping, shopping and dinner. Let's do both. Or just shopping. Okay. Or shopping and dinner. No. I have to eat. I have to eat. You have to eat. You just exercise. by shopping and dinner. Look, if you don't want to go out, you can come over here. I'm making a really yummy dinner tonight. So good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. You will? Yeah. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks again. Okay, bye. Wow. Well, that was a close one. You almost ate way too much, didn't you? It's a good thing you didn't eat very much. Although, if you did eat a lot, you could just throw it up. Your car, right, go to just McDonald's go get some food and get and yourself some food to That'll eat. make you feel better. You've been starving all day. You deserve it. You're, you're stupid. You won't have to Nobody throw it up just to you get yourself some food. And you're ugly and fat and worthless and disgusting. You're tired of life. Whoever has to look on the inside of you. I feel sorry for them. 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 I feel sorry for them